Hi guys, my name is Obi Ohakim and I'm a lawyer with core specialty in corporate litigation. I'm also the founder of Project Baby Nigeria. I started in 2017. Uh, I would say the business started organically because I used to uh, do like Snapchat videos of my kids playing and learning, you know, using like spaghetti sticks and play dough or like beads and just stringing the beads with strings. And people used to always ask me, oh, how do you do that? Or what does that do? You know, how is that beneficial to your children? And I realized that, you know what, this is something I could do commercially, aside from just uh, doing it at home or just talking to other moms about it. And then I started uh, designing learning resources for kids. I have a nine to five job. So uh, my job basically funded my business. I would say savings from my job funded my business. My biggest push, my kids. My kids are my biggest push, my biggest inspiration. I would say that just watching them learn and develop academic and social skills through play actually pushes me to even do more to educate other moms that you know what, learning is not just sitting at the table with a book and a barrel. Artisans in Nigeria drive me crazy. <laughs> I would say artisans because I deal with uh, printers, graphic designers, carpenters and they have no sense of liability, you know, they don't meet deadlines a lot of times, you know, and that causes me issues in my own business. It doesn't really concern them, honestly. And it's not like you can just take them to a small claims court, you know, for maybe liability of 500k. And they know this, and because of that, they don't stick to deadlines. So artisans drive me crazy in Nigeria. My big break. Um, Okay, maybe for my business project, baby, I would say my big break was when I was contacted by UNESCO to um, design curriculums, work with other stakeholders to design curriculums for public schools in Nigeria. And uh, professionally in my career, I would say my big, one of my big breaks was when I was appointed as the secretary on a committee set up by the former president, Good Luck Jonathan, um, in discussions around setting up a floating a national career. So I'd say that was quite huge for my career. My worst day so far, well, I've had a couple of really tough days with my business. But I would say, I mean, there was this time I got this really huge order for a stockist in Lagos that had paid like upfront cash for like almost 200 pieces of our items and of our learning resources and unfortunately my son got really sick and I had to be in the hospital for almost two weeks you know I couldn't chase up on printers and graphic designers and people who were manufacturing so I kind of had to miss the deadline I sent an email ahead of time that look this is what I'm going through but still it was it was it was just a bit unfortunate that I had to miss my deadline and it was, yeah, that was a tough time for me. But anyway, we still scale through, thankfully. Daily routine. I get up in the morning at 6 o'clock every morning. Sometimes I do aerobics from 7 to 7.30 or 6.30 to 7.30. Um, but most times during the week, I start to get my kids ready, get myself ready for work. Uh, drop my kids off in school every morning. I'm in the office by 8.00. I'm done from work around 4 o'clock, I'm back home, uh, outdoors play with my kids, we have dinner together, bath time, bedtime at 7pm, I'm in the gym during the week, weekdays, from 7 to 8pm, and then I work on my business from 9 to 10 or 9 to 11. So I'm in bed roughly around 10 to 11. I run, I work out, that's how I contain pressure to be honest. I. I work out, I run, <laughs> I feel like I run away from my problems. <laughs> but yeah, exercise actually helps me contain pressure. I think my secret advantage is that I'm practically living my business. So I'm living my business, you know. My kids are at the age where they're actually using these learning resources. They're my inspiration and they're my guinea pigs at the same time. So I'm living my truth. People can literally see me doing these things and using these things. I think that's my biggest advantage, you know. I'm actually telling my truth. I'm living my truth. I'm basically showing you my life and how this works for us. Okay. I don't think anything can make me end project, baby. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know, you know, maybe a buyout, but I don't know yet. Um, 
comparison is the thief of joy. Don't follow someone else's journey. Someone's journey of 10 years, you'll be comparing it to your journey of six months or one year. Even someone's journey of two years, don't compare it to your own two years. Hey, it's just a 